Hi, this is Mark Forshaw from Georgetown County School District, and I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of uh, Google's updates that they've done in Classroom. So um, this summer, uh, late this summer, kind of I guess early fallish, uh, Google went ahead and uh, made some adjustments into their platform. Um, and you can see right here, if you were used to Classroom before, there's still three sections. So there's Stream, Classwork, and People. Uh, however, before what this was is it was stream, it was students, and it was the about section. Uh, pretty similar still in its layout, but um, it's actually kind of cool in their design. So I'm just going to kind of overview that from the teacher perspective and then show you what it looks like from the student side now. So as you can see, the stream now uh, looks a little different. You're still going to see, um, you know, where assignments are posted and things like that, but announcements will also be here. And this is the only section that you can, as a teacher, create a class announcement or reuse a post. Um, so again, inside the stream, it's kind of more of a design now to be able to use as kind of a discussion forum um, type. But again, just kind of cleaning up that stream and making it a little more sleek. So. You've got the stream here. You've also got the classwork section now, which is pretty cool. Um, if I look at the classwork section, I can see that, um, again, I've got mine divided now into topics. And you can see right up at the top, I can create an assignment. I can add questions. Um, again, I can reuse old assignments from other classes that I might have had. Or I can create topics. And in mine, I've got mine dis um pretty much divided up uh, for, like an elementary school teacher. So I've got it by science for the first nine weeks, math by the first nine weeks, social studies by the first nine weeks, English language arts, and then I've got a resource folder down here. Um, this is where it's a little different. So you can see that before um, I used to have an about section and that was where I stored a lot of my year long resources. Now I go ahead and I create a topic. Um, and I just add those to that. And I'll show you more how to do that later in another video. But again, um, I just kind of separate them like this. And you can see if I click on these assignments, um, it does show you still and it reads just like it did before um, as far as the details and the information. So the last section here is the people section. This is where I can see, again, if I have any co-teachers, I can also see all of my students. And again, I can invite guardians if I'm using the, uh, the Google Guardians mailer. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you that is new is if I go again in this stream all the way over here, I've got my settings tab right here. And if I click on my settings tab, this is where it's going to show the name of my class. It also shows the code and it also allows me in the stream this is where I can adjust the settings. So if I wanted students um, to go ahead and comment, or if I wanted them to be able to post and comment, I could do it there. Uh, however, initially I'm going to keep in mind that only teachers can post or comment. Um, and again, the other thing that I wanted to show you once I close the settings is over here is our about section now. Our about section is different. You're going to notice this is also where I can get the class code. So if I wanted to click on this to show students so they could join, I can just click on that button um, and it will display that for them. The other thing that I've done uh, when I created my class is I created a Google Sites for resources. So students can now just copy this and they can click on it. And when they do, it's going to take them to some year long links of resources that I have for my class. And that's kind of what I keep in my about section. Um, but again, those resources are no longer available there. What is exciting, though, is Google is still going to uh, continue with some updates. So stay posted because um, coming soon they will have it. So students that are taking um, quizzes inside of their classroom um, will be locked into that browser. They will not be able to open um, another tab and go off and do that until they submit the quiz. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and they're also going to add a resources feature as well. But for right now, here's your main three. The stream is for announcements. And again, uh, as far as it goes, this is where you will make your announcements. The classwork is now where teachers will create topics. And then you will create your either your questions or your assignments um, or reuse those. 
And then the last part is people, and this is where you can add teachers or students. Um, so again, in your about section is over here, and you've got your settings tab. So now to kind of look at it from the student standpoint, um, if I open a new <clears throat> browser, you can see I'm now in as a student. Um, and what's cool is it shows me what's upcoming. Um, and again, I can still see my in my stream, I can still see everything that's posted here. I can go to classwork. And what's cool about this is I can view it again by topic if I wanted to. The other thing I can do is I can go to view your work. And if I click on that, this is what's really neat from the student perspective is I can go ahead and I can filter this. So I could look at all of this, um, which you know you could imagine as the year goes on is going to get pretty massive. Or I can click it by assigned just to see what is assigned to me. I can see what's been returned with a grade. And I can also click on what's missing. So you can see that now as a student, instead of having a ton of assignments in here, I could go ahead and see what it is that I'm missing and go ahead and click on that assignment to go to it. Uh, so that's a pretty cool feature as well now um, inside this classwork. And then again, the same thing. I can see people, so I can see my teachers. I can see my other students um, and classmates in that. And then again, what I told you that um, one of the things that we're able to do is add resources by using the new Google Sites. So if I'm the student and I click on the About section, you can see that I can see the link right here um, to that resource. So I could go ahead and I could right click on this and open the link um, <clears throat> and it'll take me to that resource page. So again, um, just this is the student side and I showed you this is the teacher side. Good luck with the new Google Classroom and stay tuned for more videos to help you uh, learn how to do things such as creating a class, creating topics, um, and assignments versus adding resources.